Even when the skies are gray, the Sacramento Zoo brightens the animals' days. Indeed. Speaking of brightening your day, here's Molly Real. She's live in Land Park learning exactly how they're doing that. Hi, Molly. Oh, stop. Look at oh. look. Look. Oh, I love meerkats. Oh, don't you love them? Oh yes. Gosh. So what's happening here? This is part of the enrichment program here at the Sacramento Zoo. We have Rachel, one of the animal care supervisors. Now, Rachel, of course, you feed your animals, you give them shelter, you give them medical care, but the enrichment program is just as important. It is, yeah. So just as important as keeping a physical health, mental health is also very important for them. So just like you notice those look like dog feeders because they are dog feeders. <laughs> um, we give them things to stimulate their mind while they're eating. So instead of just giving them a bowl of food, like your dog might hork their food down too fast. Jack your cats might do that too. So out in the wild, they're foraging, looking for food most of the day. So if you imagine you're busy normally looking for food all day, if you give them a bowl of food, they'll be done in about two minutes. So this extends their feeding time and kind of replicates their natural history of eating throughout the day. But as I said, those are dog toys. There is not a Chewy.com for a meerkat, so we make Chewy. do with what com. we can get. Uh, yeah. We do have an Amazon wish list if people want to help get a special enrichment for the meerkats and other things like lemurs. But it's really important and keeps their mind stimulated and keeps them thinking and active instead of just kind of being listless, lazy little meerkats. They just... <laughs> think all day and try to figure out how to get their food next. You know, the way they are boxing each other out kind of reminds me of the low budget uh, Good Day Basketball <laughs> Bracket <laughs> Challenge today. <laughs> That's Cody, which one's you? <laughs> and this is something down. you do almost <laughs> daily. <laughs> This is something you do almost daily for every animal yeah, here. Every animal gets at least one enrichment item every day. That's part of, we are part of the AZA Association of Zoos and Aquariums. And it's one of our accreditation standards to stay accredited is to make sure we have an appropriate welfare and behavior program, which includes the enrichment. So we track it all diligently to see what's working and what's not working. So if it doesn't work, we won't do it again. Um, but if it works, we make sure not to repeat it too often because then it comes too mundane and commonplace. So there's a whole tracking system. There's a science behind it, yeah. um, even though it just looks like dog toys. Um, we actually put a lot of thought and effort into what we do for these guys every day. And you know, she's not lying when she's saying dog toys. That blue bull right there, that is the exact bull that I give my dog. <laughs> so I can vouch by it. Uh, but they've moved on from the bulls to those balls back there as well. The bulls were much easier. Yeah. Um, inside those Kong toys, there are worms wrapped in newspapers. So they have to work oh. and forge. So that in the wild, again, there's not going to be bugs sitting around. They're going to be looking through old logs and stumps and stuff and trying to work those bugs out. So we're replicating that as best we can with worms in newspaper and balls. How fun to get creative and kind of see how well it works too. That must be really rewarding for you. Uh, by the way, I did learn something earlier uh, when I was here is that if you visit the meerkat exhibit, uh, see the rock, there's almost always a meerkat. They kind of change roles and responsibilities. Someone's always protecting like they do in the wild. But you know what? When there are bugs and balls yeah. and bulls, there's not going to be a meerkat on that rock. I do want to also say, Rachel, let's walk across this way. Uh, the next few days will be a very good time to visit the Sacramento Zoo because I don't know if you know, but there's a new baby, baby Cheyenne. Uh, but the weather hasn't been great, as we all know lately. So Cheyenne has not been outside very often. But with the sun shining, hopefully in the next few days, uh, it's going to be the best chance yet to get a glimpse of her. Yep, yeah, she's just shy of two months now. She's getting a little bit of cabin fever. Uh, we do have the door cracked for her today, but she's staying to She's staying inside, whether or not she's eating or just happy and warm inside. But um, she does have that option to come outside now. And like you were saying, it's getting nice and sunny. So they will be enjoying those sunshiny vitamin D rays real exactly. soon. OK, so we will will Cheyenne out into the sunshine. And if she just chooses to stay inside for now, you've got these other loves. Oh, look at that giraffe. Look right up <gasps> by everyone. Oh, Aww. do you? Gosh, I just. Yep, that's dad over there. That giraffe was great in there, Last of Auntie, Us. And then so good. Grandma, adopted Grandma Sky over there. So you can see everyone else, even if you don't see the baby. Sky. Great few days to come out to the Sacramento Zoo. Say hi to the giraffes. Say hi to the meerkats. Say hi to everyone.